It's that time of year where everyone seems to be coming down with something. Lots of times we go to a doctor when we're not feeling well. But we wanted to know if there were any home remedies you use. Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Castoreno found out some of your favorites. Lots of people grew up with home remedies. Vicks is a really popular one, but we wanted to know what else is out there, San Antonio, so we got our Ken's Five Grandma to help us out. Most home remedies start with the most all-natural ingredients. My grandmother's name was uh, Barbarita Cortez, but we called her Mama B. One of uh, the, the remedies I do remember uh, my grandmother doing was, uh, it, it was a pretty regular one I, I, when I was young, or, me, my brother, my sister, when we uh, had any kind of stomach ache or upset stomach, she would make us a tea. It was uh, yerba buena, which is a uh, spearmint tea. And so she would just go outside in the garden, grab the spearmint, uh, brew it in a, in a pan, uh, and then she would peel uh, an orange and stick pieces of the orange peels in the tea as it brewed. So after the tea was brewed, um, it was, she'd pour it in a, in a cup, uh, and then she'd get some more fresh orange peels, two or three, and put it in the cup. And uh, I would sip it in, and hey, stomach ache is gone. So that was, uh, that was probably uh, one of my favorite ones that I remember. I love my grandma. <laughs> Her name was Estela Aguillon. This was like maybe four or five years of generations of my family that did that already and now this is the sixth generation and then I'm passing it down to my kids as well so they can know like they can know what to do in that situation so when they go up to you and they don't touch you or they say or you know like oh she's so cute and they don't touch her or anything like that you're like yeah like bad juju you could just put it that way she would get an egg so when we get we will get ojo um, she would always rub us like and say a prayer and then after that she would have a glass with water so, and she'll crack the egg in there, and then she'll put like a cross in there and put it under our bed. So like when we wake up the next morning, like we felt better. Like that was, you know, her cure, you know, her remedy that she did at home. She used to always tell me that her parents did that to her. My grandma's, you know, grandma's parents did that to them. And uh, yeah, it was, you know, I mean, weird, you know, you think about it now and I'm like, okay, a cone on fire in your ear, yeah, that's just a little weird. <laughs> you wrap it and I don't know how she taped it. Um, she would put it in your ear and you'd have to kind of tilt your ear like this, your head like this, and then she would light it on fire. And you think, oh my goodness, it's on fire. And the, uh, it's a newspaper, so usually if you've ever seen a newspaper burn, it just, you know, the, the ashes just fall, but for some reason she would do that whenever you complained of an earache or you had uh, air in your ear, and you could literally hear like a little pop, you know, as it got closer to your head. She never, I, I never got burned or anything, and that's just one of the weird ones. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know how they came up with this stuff. But do they really work? Over the years, I've kind of, uh, uh, kind of agree with uh, uh, some of these remedies and. The spiritual part, uh, I find it very interesting now. I did. I did because I trusted her, you know, and she was my grandma, so. <laughs> they seem to work. Um, I don't do those now with my kids, <laughs> just because I don't know if I would be able to, but all my kids are all grown and out of the house now, but they're pretty lucky that they didn't get to have to go through all that. Now, Ken's Five does not recommend trying any of these at home. Always consult your doctor for any ailment. Bill. Thank you, Deb. Yeah, my grandma had a good one. I'll tell you, on a cold night, she would always put the hot bricks that came off the radiator at the foot of the bed, they, under the sheets and under the comforter, and it was so nice. Nice, warm bed from Grandma Belva. Oh, yeah. 